Okay, Itamix Kanatani. Good morning. It is just past eight o'clock in the AM on Moon Day, July 2 2, 2019, in the lunar cycle, Misamsota, the long rains. And it's looking to be a nice warm day. Getting my wildlife gigs going this morning with skunk calls as usual. First one is going to take us out to McGill Boulevard. Um, where there's an apartment complex. I've already caught eight skunks at this location. This is number nine. Skinathony. Skunky number two is going to take us into the Copperwood subdivision. Not a place where I've had a lot of wildlife calls, but it's, it's pretty new and it's starting to pick up. It's where I did that muskrat last winter. But it uh, sounds like we got a, a big adult skunk in a trap over there. That's a fur coat walking down the road. <laughs> so this first north side one is just a trap I want to check. It's been hitting daily and I think the residents are away. Looks like it's closed so we probably do have a skunk in this one. closed but empty and the bait is gone so I'm gonna just have to reset it's two blocks away for the next trap and this one should actually have a skunk in it little one just a 
This is third north side residence. We're just going to pop in and check because it's been hitting every night for the last little bit. Oh, yes, we got another skunky in there. I can see it already. Little guy. Little guy. Oh, oh, don't spray me. <laughs> Let's go get my tarp. All right, it's now about 11.30 in the pre-noon and we've got our first snake call of the day. This one's taken us down into Popson Park, which is totally rattlesnake territory. They belong down there, but there was a big snake that was observed right on the dog walking trail. And when that happens, I'll often go down and at least move the snake, um, not out of the park, of course, but into a location where it's less likely to run into a dog, you know. Um, since I released those last skunks, I've made four other stops. One to pick up a skunk trap that just hasn't been hidden. Um, and then three others to set new skunk traps. The, the skunk business is really keeping me busy and in a good way, because I need those resources right now. <laughs> um, snakes, not so much. I've, the, the calls have definitely picked up since the mating migration is underway, like the males that are moving around are bumping into humans. But it's still, it's still pretty low for snake calls compared to the last couple of years, but relatively normal if you look at the years that were prior to the last couple of years. Anyway, getting down into the park now, so we'll go see if there's a snake, and if we don't, we'll at least have a nice little stroll. <laughs> So not too surprisingly, I have failed to encounter the snake that was reported along this trail. I've definitely passed the area where the caller thought that I would find a large male rattlesnake. So <laughs> that's the way it goes. It's what I figured would happen and it's all good for the snake anyway. Like I was saying in the, in the Jeep, this is their territory so even if I moved it, it wouldn't be far, it'd just be off the trail. I did kind of go back to an area that way where it, one previous summer there was a lot of rattlesnake uh, mating behavior. Like there was males wrestling and being photographed and videoed every night by people. And there was females on the scene too. Like I moved some of those snakes um, that year because it just was too much intense activity right on the edge, right off the edge of the dog run, you know. But any case we got another snake call now this one's going to take us way to the other end of town far north to pavan park where apparently there is a bull snake threatening people at the entrance to the male and female washroom so we'll go check that out next Well, here I am at Pavan Park, another gorgeous strip of Mokoan Sisakta, and you can't see it, but I can see upstream there's a deer in the water, and more pelicans yet, some cattle on the other side of the river, but man, that water looks pretty inviting. 
<laughs> Might have to jump in and, and go for a swim. I don't know. It's pretty hot out here. Um, no snake. Not surprisingly, right? Uh, but this is the second time I've been called here in probably the last week or so in pursuit of a snake <clears throat> near these washrooms. Um, this time the guy identified it as a bull snake, which is good, so at least I know I'm not dealing with a venomous snake that keeps coming back to the <laughs> place that it's going to encounter humans. But here's what we're looking at as the facilities. I think this is where um, they're saying that they're encountering this snake right around this building. So I arrived here, kind of did a, a once around. There's not even a ground squirrel population like right here around this building. There's no bird nest that I can see. I've checked the washrooms themselves. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure why the snake is visiting here, but he's coming. And if he continues to come here, um, him and I are gonna have an encounter one of these days. <laughs> so yeah, um, Pavan Park, once again, no snake. couple of things I'm noticing here at Pavan that I need to point out all right one thing is people that are fishing here are being assholes look at this right right here I've got this whole rig somebody was you know fishing sturgeon and they left this whole thing in the sand here right next to it uh, we got some more stuff going on here a little a little uh, spinner with a treble hook right and then just over this way I seen where is it where is it there's a I seen some other little outfit over here where'd it go <laughs> oh oh it's got to be right here somewhere I'm just missing it let's see Oh yeah, there's a there's a lead weight right there, but there was three or four of them, I think, somewhere in here. I'm missing it. There's still another still another setup. You know, easy for somebody passing by to overlook. There's another lead weight right here. It's good to put as much lead as you can into the uh <laughs> system here in case maybe a goose or something passing by might eat it I know there's more here hold on hold on there's all but I'm gonna look for it but any case yeah the people who are here fishing sturgeon or whatever recently you guys are assholes there it is look at this triple weight triple weight and another hook on a leader. Assholes. So all kinds of animals could be uh, affected by this, you know, and not only animals, but people like barefooters like myself. I'm not barefooting at the moment, but I'm kind of glad I'm not given. Look at this. There's another, there's another hook and a weight. Jesus Christ. How much am I gonna find like right here? <laughs> the other thing that really cracked me up, check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you over here. There's this is sign. It's pretty hilarious. So there's this post here. This is the washrooms where the snake was. There's this post that says no horses on the one side and then on the other side here it says no horses as well but those are clearly rails put up for horses and then you got a another sign here saying equest equestrian trail so <laughs> i just thought that was pretty funny but <laughs> equestrian trail no 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 bikes no bikes allowed okay. Whoop. 
catching myself with some of these hooks. I'm gonna hurt myself. Dangling all over the place. Look at that. Equestrian trail, no bikes, but no horses either, apparently. <laughs> So it is late afternoon, early evening now, about quarter after four in the p.m. and I am headed over to the extreme south end of town to pick up Cody and Reed from daycare. Along the way, I'm grabbing a couple of my skunk traps that just aren't hitting. One of them, I just stopped by there and I, I hope to give you a little glimpse. I hope I got some good footage, but the resident there, Kathy, she's just a, a really lovely lady. Uh, I'm so impressed with her. Her neighbors were concerned with her, um, were, were concerned about a skunk that they've seen in her backyard and theirs. They were concerned about her dog be being sprayed and they follow my channel, my uh, Rattlesnakes and Lethbridge and all of this. And so they contacted me and asked me to come put a skunk trap in their yard. And then they convinced Kathy to put one in her yard too. But her conscience only let her do that for about 24 hours uh, the next morning after not catching a skunk over the first night she went ahead and closed the trap and then she caught it's been there for several days since well a few days anyway and she called me this afternoon and she said you know I just rather not trap the skunk <laughs> which I love that's so beautiful um, I, I wish more people were like Kathy uh, yeah, she's totally cool with the skunk being there. It didn't play right with her uh, to be trapping it, messing around with it. So she closed the trap. She even picked up all my little dog kibbles and bagged them and uh, and sent them back with the trap. Uh, real beautiful lady. And I want to give her just, just deserves. She, she, she uh, handed me a check for $15 as a donation to Rattlesnakes of Lethbridge. Um, I told her I didn't want to take her money, but she says it's a donation, and so, um, yeah, I, I just, I, I can't say enough about this, Kathy. Really great to meet her. Uh, I wish more people were, were, were like her and were willing to just leave the animals alone, you know? Oh, hi. Hey, hi, Kathy. Hi. Hey. Oh, you got it right here. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't take money from you. No, thank you. For rattlesnakes of leverage donation? Thank you. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, I don't feel I don't feel right taking money from you. At least I can donate to the Thank you. Yeah, I can I can use it, but yeah, I'm like I'm like totally with you on the idea of leaving the skunks alone, so Okay, Hopefully you can convince your Yeah, neighbor. maybe. I think they just thought, because I was worried about Casey, so oh, yeah. when they know, yeah, oh, yeah, maybe we'll get a chance to... Yeah, maybe they'll take their trap uh, away too. Yeah, because then I won't have to worry about Casey and the trap. That's so right. it's like, you know, choices. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that'd be nice. <laughs> thank you all. Thanks again Thank for you. Your time. Good to meet you. You too, Rob. What, 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 what? Oh, <laughs> no, I did, didn't see those steps coming. See you, Kathy. Alright, I got the Cody and the Reed in tow now, and we still have to pick up William, but on the way we're going to stop by the north side where apparently there is an emergency involving a skunk in a manhole. So let's go check out what that is. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. Good. So you got a skunk down here? Hey, buddy. Oh, you're not looking good. <laughs> well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can hand that down to you too. Oh, buddy, you can't go in there. Oh, he's just gonna 
climb into that duct. He just went down one of those tunnels. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be harder to get than than expected. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, we have a washer. He was up front there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he just went. He just went in under those one of those ducts. Yeah. So what I'm gonna have to do, if uh, if we want to oh, catch him, is I'm I'm gonna have to put a trap down there. Oh, you're gonna have a trap? Yeah, because he went he went right down one of the tunnels. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Yeah, he's not gonna sit there and let me go get him. No. So yeah, I'll have to put a trap in there and catch him overnight or something. Pretty nasty. Of course he went. <laughs> Yeah, he just went right in. Yeah, he's, yeah I, I think he's probably going to be toast. That's, that doesn't... Yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was eating with it. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Find out in the morning. Cover that was fucking gross to climb in and out of. Oh, I, I, I'm so greasy. Like, uh, when you, you know, if you've ever rendered tallow, <laughs> even a little bit, you get that grease in your core, and that's how I feel right now. I've got grease all through me, but my day is not over yet. No, it, it doesn't end like that. My day is taking me down to Popson Park once again because we have not yet got our ape paws on a live rattlesnake and I think we're gonna have that happening right here really quick down by the boat launch in the parking area. Let's go see. None other than Michael Worf. Yes, so, right? What happened? He was, uh, it was just, uh, just a sneak thing right here but uh... I didn't want my dogs to attack it. Yeah. And so I've been keeping them away while I was waiting for you. But he was just hanging out here, but a guy 
it was parked here he chased it with a stick he like moved it okay uh, moved it into the grass so i think he's okay now okay but yeah it's got to be like right here okay it's habitat, though. yeah 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 no this is where they live so, like, so. where would you relocate them to right well this Just, is like, this is where they live right. yeah <laughs> like, well that was the dumb thing of like <laughs> well, I just didn't want him uh, getting attacked by my dog. Yeah, no, it's the second time I've been down here today oh. for, well, there was a, there was one on, right on the dog run earlier, but. Yeah. Uh, it it moved so off hot, by right? itself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, hey. Yeah, so he's, in the time I called, the time he come here, the guy just had like one of those chuckets and was yeah. just like moving it. Cool. But it was, it was letting him know that was here oh yeah i'm yeah, sure right so i thought <laughs> i thought this is gonna not end well so i thought i'd phone someone who knows what they're doing yeah yeah so, yeah cool well i might poke around a little bit okay. for him and see All if right. he's get him off further further off well, the beaten right, path yeah, if he it's not it's not a biggie i just don't want him getting run over or yeah exactly you know? let's let's get him a little bit further away from the human traffic get area if we can hands. Oh yeah. He's pretty big. All right. You're pretty sneaky. <laughs> that is a sneaky rattlesnake and he just shut his rattle right off <laughs> this is why people are afraid of the deep water this tall grass it's not that snakes like tall grass per se but when it comes to defending themselves? Yeah. There a hole? There's a culvert. He's underground. Yeah. 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 That's what's going on. He's gone under. Yeah, yeah, he's gone under. Hmm. You're safe to exit. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.